Hi, this is Matt Monahan of SA International, and I'm speaking today with Alex Almendinger. He's entering his senior year at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, and was recently selected as one of five global winners of the 2015 Infinity Performance Engineering Academy. As a winner, he now has the opportunity to work in Formula One with Infinity Red Bull Racing, as well as with Infinity's road car division. Thank you for joining us, Alex. And just to get started, uh, can you take us through the process of uh, first applying? Uh, how knowledgeable were you about the competition uh, heading into this year? And what was the process like of first becoming a finalist and then uh, going to uh, Nashville to compete for that? Yeah, of course. Um, so I actually first heard about the competition uh, through some fellow Formula SAE competitors. Um, so my, uh, one of my teammates had a mutual friend who was actually the winner from last year, uh, Jason. I also had the opportunity to meet Eric at one of the Formula SA competitions. Um, they both kind of introduced me to it, told me about you know what they were the opportunity that they were getting uh, to go work in at Infinity Red Bull. Um, so you know obviously it was really exciting hearing about that, and it was a really cool opportunity. So I kind of knew that I wanted to pursue it next next year when I started coming up. Uh, so the application uh, opened up and I applied last spring, so spring of 2015. Uh, then from there, everything moved really quickly. Um, so after the first resume submission, it, um, the next step was a video submission. Uh, so kind of a I remember 60 or 90 seconds um, about yourself and about you know your skills and your attributes and why you'd be a good fit you know, with Infinity and with Infinity Red Bull Racing. Um, and then after that, there was the Skype interviews. Um, so it was a smaller pool selected from there. And then after that, with a, a small little technical write-up uh, more like interview follow-up questions, um, you know, leading into the finals. And from that applicant pool, uh, they selected the, the 12 U.S. finalists, uh, which, you know, of course, was really, really exciting getting that news. Um, so it was awesome having the opportunity to, to travel up to Nashville and then ultimately, you know, compete with these 11 other, you know, finalists that were, you know, obviously, of course, you know, really high-quality engineers, high-quality people, you know, a pretty fun group to be around, but really competitive, you know, two days. Okay, and and take me. Th obviously, you have a lot of Formula SA experience, but these challenges, I'm sure, were a little unconventional. What were some of those challenges, and and what was that experience like? And were you able to pl apply some of that Formula SA engineering experience to these challenges? Yeah. So going into the finals, they were really vague about what we'd be doing, uh, which kind of made it interesting. And the you know the biggest thing that Formula SA did prepare me was give me a diverse range of skills and allow me to you know pick things up quickly and learn quickly. So the, the first thing that we did was a psychometric exam, um, which was planning a company's a layout of a new facility, a new manufacturing facility, um, which allowed us to pull some of our you know, manufacturing backgrounds, some of our you know, planning background. Um, so we took you know financial information, you know, how many employees they had, what their revenues were, if they were increasing, decreasing in size, and we had to plan out what you know this facility was going to look like. Um, so it was kind of a, you know, a smaller group. It was four people per group, and we all got to present at the end, which was kind of cool, and hear the feedback from all the judges. And what, was, what was it that made you stand out? Was there one particular moment where, where you particularly shined, or what was it that – was it the collaboration, perhaps, that, that you have experience with? Through yeah, your... I, think, I think during that event uh, in particular, I was able to present at the end, uh, which I've become very comfortable doing, you know, through, you know, design finals and things like that within Formula SAE. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, very comfortable speaking about what I've done. Uh, so working in the small group, we had our, you know, project, better idea, and we were able to, you know, present it and fulfill it. Okay. And this year is a little bit different because it is a global field of, of winners. You're working with a group of, uh, from Saudi Arabia, Russia, UK, and China, as well as yourself. What, what, were, what were they telling you about, the, about that aspect of the competition, and, and are you looking forward to working with such a diverse group? Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's really interesting bringing all these different engineering backgrounds and cultures you know, into the same area to solve one problem. Um, throughout the, the U.S. finals, um, the U.S. was the last final, so they'd already done the other four. Uh, so you got to hear the judges kind of comment on how other groups and teams had done things differently and how they approach problems differently. So even just in that, you know, one day of evaluation, they could, you know, already identify how different cultures and different people approach different problems as different different group settings and different, you know, engineering backgrounds. Okay. And this year is also a little bit different because you'll be doing uh, not only Formula One work, but also road car work. Uh, I know that technology transfer is very important, uh, applying some of those motorsports technologies to road cars. Uh, what, what, what do you think that experience is going to be like taking, you know, just in sh such a short period working on both both fields? 
Yeah, I think it'll be a really great opportunity to see how that transfer is directly, you know, happening. Um, obviously, I mean, there's several things you can identify on these Formula One cars that are pushing the road car development. Of course, aerodynamics is huge. The the CFD tools, the wind tunnel tools, the things that they're developing in Formula One are also getting applied to road car. And then, of course, the engine development has also been, you know, rather important with the new Formula One rules, you know, decreasing displacement. You have to have these engines last, you know, for long portions of the season. You can't have new engines every single race. So the reliability aspect is, you know, increasing. And, of course, the fuel efficiency as well. Okay. Um, they're under new fuel restrictions, and that, you know, directly applies to road car. You know, we're always trying to make road cars more efficient, more fuel efficient. Okay. And then uh, I believe you're a mechanical engineering major, yeah. but what's it like having uh, a mechanical engineering background, but you're also, from your Formula SA experience, uh, really involved with aerodynamics and composites. Um, uh, is mechanical engineering broad enough where you can uh, have experience and, and feel feel uh, you know, confident working in, in any field, basically? Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the you know, biggest benefits of mechanical engineering is that it's very general. And there's a lot of like skills and you know, background that you learn that you can apply in almost any field. Um, and that's what's been awesome about Formula City is had the experience to kind of expand outside of what, you know, a typical mechanical engineer would do and dive into aerodynamics and composites, um, which, you know, might lend towards more of the aerospace engineering major. Um, but I've had this opportunity to learn and do all this research for myself and actually apply it to the car. Okay. And uh, I believe you said that... that uh... <laughs> It was Formula SAE that kind of gave you the interest in motorsports. You've always had an interest in cars. What was that uh, decision like to pursue engineering as, as a major at Illinois um, and then get, becoming involved with Formula SAE? Uh, what was that process like? Yeah, I think motorsports is one of the biggest things that drew me to engineering as a major. Um, of course, like, you know, I grew up watching racing, enjoying, like, loving cars. Um, but the, the competitive aspect of it was kind of the biggest thing for me. Um, working in a competitive environment, you know, drives me as a person individually, and I think it, you know, drives teams as well. Um, you see, you know, these Formula One teams pushing every single week, you know, sometimes they're making huge changes in five days of time, if not less, you know, to put on these cars to, you know, compete and win. And that kind of environment has always been something I've loved being a part of, you know, even if it involves, you know, working 24 hours a day, it's, you know, it gives you something that you love and that you're passionate about. Great. Yeah. Well, congratulations and best of luck. We'll be following your career very closely. Thanks so much. Thank you.